What's going on everybody? We are back with the second episode for Fear of the Night. Now, in the last episode, we killed a whole bunch of infected and we got our workbench. So today, we are going to be working on capturing more shelters so we can place down some more benches. Now, the next bench we are going to be making is the salvage bench. So to start with, we're going to need another shelter. And we're going to need more wood. One thing I am going to do quick is I need to turn the volume down. So we're gonna come in here, we're gonna grab a couple waters we got, and we have our batteries, our power tools, and we have a jug. So we're good to go. We're gonna start with this shelter next, and we'll just keep working our way. Wait. Game likes to do that a lot. It does, it does. Alright, let's get this going. So as I said, this base is going to have our salvage bench. Now, with our salvage bench we'll be able to scrap down all the stuff we picked up at the school yesterday, like, for instance, we can make recycled metal out of like the small water pipes or plastic from the straws in the plastic bags. All sorts of stuff like that. So that's one of the next things we're going to be doing. We'll probably recycle a bunch of stuff before we even capture the next base. And I want to make that, uh, that axe and that hammer. I think those will be my next priority after we capture this and set up the salvage bench inside. So this thing is ready to go. Throw our jug of gas in and we need to kill the two zombies that spawn. As you can see, he's coming out of the ground and once and again and three times, four times a chance. Being it's only two zombies, we'll just take the rest of this time to grab up some wood that we're going to need. We need a hundred wood for that bench. So, turn that off. I want my arrows back. Not sure how many he had. Sometimes it tells you, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you can't pick them up even if they are sticking out of the body, so... But we should be getting close to a hundred. Yep, we have a hundred. Alright. Scroll down here. Salvage bench. And it is done. Number five. Now, we aren't really going to need that many power tools, but I'll save them for now. I'm just going to salvage everything from the salvage only, for sure. All the stuff that's in here is obviously, just as it says, it is only for salvaging into the scrap. Now, like other things, like, for instance, these water pipes are a weapon. So they won't be listed in there. You'll have to go through, pick them out, and salvage them like that. As you can see we have these two 
that are low durability. This one's 25. This one's 35. I'm going to scrap them up. Because we still have, what, four, four full durability large water pipes. And as you can see right here, we're scrapping the plastic bags and we are getting recycled plastic. And as soon as this is done, we're going to run back to the workbench make up them harvesting tools like I said and we might even make a couple storage crates just so we can drop off some of our stuff I don't need to carry everything around on me so just to make it all the easier we'll probably just start dropping it off but anyway I will skip through this and I will be back to you guys when I am done salvaging Alright, so we just finished salvaging everything. As you can see here, we got 71 recycled metal, 84 recycled plastic. So we have plenty for now. And I'm going to drink a thing of water, have a couple of flowers. Alright, let's get back to our other base now and we shall get ourselves our harvesting tool. I think I need a little bit of wood. Grab a couple pieces of wood. I'm not sure exactly how many. So we'll just chop this dead dead piece down here. There we go. Alright. Now as you can see, it takes 10 metal, 10 plastic, and 10 wood to make this. The claw hammer takes 10, mat, uh, 10 metal, 5 plastic, and 15 wood. So we're going to get both of them done. After we capture all our bases today, we are going to be putting down some spikes for defense. I will show you more about that later on. For now, we're going to drop that. We don't need it. I don't want it. Now, our weight's pretty good now. So I'm going to take more into water and again, range. So as you can see, it boosted our water up. It doesn't slow down how it drains. It just gives you extra, extra stats to it. Now show you the new hatchet here and let's see every hit resources three hits knock that tree down it is a hell of a lot quicker so much more efficient it is well worth the investment I'm not exactly sure how much wood we need to make the I think our next one is the bench weapon bench okay we need a little more stone we're good on wood uh, we are going to need more recycled metal so we'll have to do or rather I'll have to do a bit of a loot run now, in case you don't know uh, when you re-log into a server or a private server like this Everything spawns back. So, with that being said, all the resources at the school will be back again. So what I will do is I will go back there and I will go farm all the stuff over again, get some more scrap, and a lot of the farming, farming kind of stuff like that. Once I show you the new areas where I'll be picking the stuff up at, I will probably do most of it off camera. Just because it gets repetitive. And you probably won't want to see all of it, especially the same area over and over again. So I'm going to make myself a bunch more arrows quick. I think 
make a couple small chests, as you can see. 30 wood, take 5 recycled metal, and 5 hempen strands. So we could make one right now. I'm going to wait until after we take over these other shelters. And I'm going to put it in the workbench shelter and and also the salvage bench shelter for now. Those will be the two that I'm going to store most of my stuff at. The salvage bench one obviously is going to is going to need it to hold all the recycled metal and plastic and chemicals. All that sort of good stuff. Come on. Alright. So we're almost there. I'm going to stop and hit up this little toolbox. Grab all that stuff out of there. Now I could get some more recycled metal from scrapping the stuff that I already have, but I want to keep a bunch of it, like these pipes. I will need some nails. I don't think we'll end up using the pipes, these regular pipes, so I'll probably end up getting rid of them. But I wanted to make sure, because I have salvage stuff I've needed before, like pipe fittings. I've done that a couple times where I've accidentally salvaged them all out instead of keeping them. So, you learn from your mistakes. You save a few of everything you need. Obviously, we have way too many damn power tools. We have 26. We're not going to need that many. So, after I capture all the bases we will get rid of them. Alright, this is about ready. There we go. And control T for one jug. There we go. And it's all over. So as you can see, these first five bases are nothing to be afraid of. Two zombies, that's it. I think that's... I guess that's how it should be, you know. Obviously, this is the starter area. So it's got to be easy. You know, this... It's not... Not too bad, I don't think. Almost could have a few more zombies, in my opinion, but I'm used to fighting tons and tons of them, so I'm probably the wrong one for an opinion on that one. Alright, those guys are dead. Let's check out our weapons bench. Alright, so here again, you can craft these uh, harvesting tools. You could also use them as a weapon. I won't, but you could if you needed to. They are 30 damage, so that's not bad. At level 12, this is what I will be making this wooden recurve bow. The pipe shotgun, I'm not going to use. I don't know, for me it's... It just doesn't do what I want it to do. I mean, yeah, it does pretty good damage, but it eats a lot of ammo. Pipe pistol as well. To me, it's not worth it. But here's the spike table leg that I was talking about. Nails in a table leg gives you a 25 damage weapon. Again, if you're going, if you're comfortable with going to the school to get the to get them large water pipes. You can skip these two. It's not. It's not worth it.
So anyway, now we're going to need... How much do I have? We're going to need about 50... 50 more metal to make that other bench, I believe. Let me see. 49, yep. So... I could... Hmm... Let's go take a look at the salvage bench. Oh, and I forgot in the last video to show you the fast travel thing. So, I'm going to show you that right now. Coming to your shelter, there's a fast travel thing here. You can hit just hit F to fast travel. You can also show the preview. And you can rename it. So, I like to rename mine to what bench is in there. So... Then when I hit this, I will know. You know, that's the weapons bench. This is obviously my salvage bench. I didn't rename it. But you can travel to whatever shelters you own, provided you have enough of the resources that is shown here to get there. You cannot fast travel to a point of interest, and you cannot fast travel to a layer. So you'll have to keep that in mind when you want to fast travel. So as you can see, I just fast traveled to this one. This is my salvage bench, which I will rename it such. And let's see here. Um, we might have enough stuff here. I think we actually might. We might be okay. It's going to be close if we don't. We only need 49 just for the bench. So we can get 49 for now I can worry about the crates later or oh, we're gonna be just short okay so we need four more I think it was okay that's that should do it we have 64 we are good we don't need to go out and farm all right armor bench 30 wood 20 stone 60 recycled metal. Bam. So there we go. We're going to just be lazy and fast travel back over here. Click on it. There we go. Alright, so now we're a little bit closer. And as you notice, when I'm fast traveling, the food and water do go down. So, be cautious. It won't let you fast travel if you don't have enough. Run through the infected water because I'm too damn lazy to go around. And bam. While I repair this, I will skip it, so I will see you guys back in a couple minutes. Alright, it's just finishing up, so now we can add our jug of gas, and we will occupy it. Two zombies to kill, and... Ha! Huh. Hmm. Wait for this to get done. As you can see, daylight is starting to fade. It is 1750. We do have only a couple hours before it starts to get done. Alright, let's place down this summer bench and have us a look. As you can see, we will need a lot more cardboard. So, 
we will be obviously getting more of that to make this and we do need to level up to get access to the better armor um, yeah as you can see the armor gets increasingly better as you go all the way up to the plate armor which is the top tier armor for the game and that is why I've been saving the license plates just so you're aware but yeah this is going to be one thing we are definitely going to need for that layer once we go into that layer it is dark I, w I want you guys to be able to see that so we don't have enough materials to do anything here so let's get on out here now we will fast travel so let us get back to our first shelter here all right rename this I didn't rename that other one either did I workbench yeah we're gonna need more water here 23 of them are done add the other ones got a bit of wood in there I'm just gonna add more because I normally keep a fire burning. flowers so we do have enough stuff like gas which I can grab here to go capture that other shelter I think we need to level up again yes we do level 11 for that and that's where the pipe fittings that I have are gonna be needed So after I take that other shelter I'm just gonna take the batteries, I'll scrap them down for chemicals and stuff. But after we take that other shelter, we're gonna head back over by the school to level up. Uh, oh, we're almost there. We should be able to get that in no time. So we won't even have to go back over by the school. I thought, I just figured we were further away from leveling up than that. But we might, I say might, be able to get enough XP from the couple zombies off of here to do that. So, I'll be back once this is ready to go. Alright, so it's ready to go. Just need to throw in our jug of gas. And let's get this done. Well, there's the answer to our question. We just leveled up. So. We will throw some points into food this time and again range. Alright, so this is pretty much done. Bam, there we go. Now I, I believe I just needed wood and stone to make that bench. Yes. Alright. That'll be pretty easy. Thunderstorm. That should be enough wood. I just need to find some stone here. I believe I can bust this one. Okay, no, I can't. Never mind. Um, here we go. Almost to level 14 and start making it back. Alright. Get back up the hill here.
bam. All right, so you can see this is like spikes and this is defense stuff, structure crafting, medicine bench. We will not be making the medicine bench right away. There, I don't know. There is some really nice stuff in it, don't get me wrong, but it's not something that I'm going to take the time to get all the sand for the cement right away. The stove, I will not make that right away either. That'll be something later. Again, nice stuff, but no use for it right now. So, pretty much, we really don't need anything in here at the moment. Um, we could make our wood spikes here while we're here, I guess. But later on, this this is needed for like crafting, like I said, your defenses. Um, this stuff is all stuff we will not have to worry about till the end of the game. But there is some nice stuff in here. You can replace your doors, you know, all sorts of nice stuff like that. The machine tool is handy. The distillery is great. So, yeah. We are going to farm up some wood and stuff, and then I will be back with you guys so we can make all our spikes for all our bases. Alright, we're back. We just knocked down a whole bunch of trees. We have right around 200 wood. So, yeah, let's see if that's enough here. I need 15. I am... I believe I am literally two wood short. Give that one hit. I'm going to rename this before I forget. Right. Okay. First, deal with zombies. wasn't. Oh, I'm four short now. Never mind, I needed 225. Alright, that should actually be perfect. There we go. Bam. If we're going to craft these up, I'm going to put three around each generator. This should be su sufficient protection for these small bases right now. Later on, as we capture things that are more important, the bigger bases, the points of interest, we will be. Alright, sorry for the interruption. Let's get back to. But as I was saying, as you capture bigger bases, points of interest, those you're going to want to protect more because you're going to have all your resources. You're going to have multiple benches in there. You know, it's going to be a spot where when you log on, you're going to go, you're going to want to go and be able to get the stuff out of there, like the points of interest that have loot that's specific to, well, it's not just from there, but you get specific loot for, for capturing them that you can collect every time you log in and stuff like that. So it's going to be a spot you're going to be able to have defended. Like I said, for now, three around each generator. More than enough. Bam. Now we're just going to fast travel to... I didn't name my armor bench, so we'll have to do that when we get there. But alright, this is going to consume a bit of my resources, but it's quicker, it's easier for, you know, then I don't, then I can just pop it and out, show you this quick. 
On to the next base. That's done. Gonna go to our armor bench here, quick. Yeah, armor bench. There we go, that's named. Now these spikes are pretty cheap to make so if you want more spikes around your generator just to make sure it's safe go ahead they're cheap I could put tons of them around there but I think three is sufficient for my needs of the bases I'll be moving along soon enough out of these bases so I don't need anything too heavy once we do get to like our main base, we're definitely going to want better defenses. So alright, we have got our five bases with our benches all done. As you can see, it is almost dark. I will be ending the episode here for now. In the next episode, we will... I believe we're going to try to level up and we're going to go out and loot again. We're going to need a lot more metal, plastic, uh, chemicals, and all sorts of stuff like that. We're going to need cardboard for sure for our armor. So I'm going to do a little bit of a loot run in the dark off camera. Just so the next episode we'll have some stuff to start. Oh, I was also going to show you killing the rabbits. You can see that just killed him. And you search him. Bam. Fur and ground meat. We're going to need the fur. So, we need to make hide for that better bow now. So like I said, I will do some looting off camera and we will be back at daylight for the next episode so again thank you guys for being here if you enjoyed the, the content please hit that like button consider subscribing to the channel and we'll catch you in the next video thank you guys for being here